All right, so today I wanted to do the introduction like on my way. I just want to see the return of the camera. I wanted to do it on the way here, but it was so icy. Anyways, today I take you with the upper body, just to work with comes after legs. So it's a bit like, I would say an ass one, even though I never did upper body. And if you don't train as much per week, I really recommend you doing upper body because it will let you add a lot of frequency, a lot of volume, without having to do like a big split. Because the goal would be to target like each muscle twice a week, right? And if you do upper body, man, you can do it easily because you just, in one workout, do all the upper body and then you just do like a push-pull the other days and you already have done twice. So that's why I'm doing like legs, upper, I've done all the body once and then I just repeat after two days. I push, a pull, and I've done all the upper body muscles twice and the lower one, so the legs, only do once a week, that's enough for me. Instead of like, oh, I manage my rest and stuff and the fatigue and stuff. Once a week, a good, well hard leg day as you have seen in the last video. That's just what I'm aiming for. So as all my upper body, you're gonna see it's gonna be the same. Two exercises for the big muscles, like two for chest, two for back, then one for the shoulders and one for biceps, one for tries. And then I should do calves, but recently I skipped calves for some forearms exercises to kind of get a bigger grip, more strength, and just grow the forearms a bit more. I'm just like not really following like a progression on forearms. It's just like I'm just throwing like three sets randomly, like I just pick a weight, I go until it burns, until failure, I do a drop set or whatever. It's really, I spend like five, 10 minutes at the end of the workout. I can do on my phone, I can do other stuff. And I just do like some forearms uh, strengthening. Anyways, and you're gonna put a workout. We're gonna go up there, train hard. And I might just talk more after the video. And if I feel like I put the clip from after the workout, before the workout, that's the magic. So yeah, just gonna go up there. Hopefully the headphones works. And I guess we're gonna come back just for the pump in an hour and a half. Hopefully with a good pump. All right. Time to go.
a freaking long workout uh, which pretty good at the end I've done a lot of like forearms shitty stuff just to add volume on the forearms 
even though they were a bit still sore because I climbed. And when I climbed the day after, and now just two days after, I still can feel them. So it's nice, but it means also I have to work with them more. So let us check the pump check. Probably nothing left on top of the chest. Maybe some pump, some back, a little bit pump, some shoulders, maybe, but probably arms only, really pumped. Uh, yeah, the question, where are I gonna put this? I put it there. Because usually I have a hat to hold the microphone, but today I don't think so. Hopefully you can hear me, but you have to see me still. See how it looks. I can only see the mirror there, and from there, it's like massive and full. I look like, wow, this is my body. Can't believe it. Yeah, when I say from there, and the mirror there with the light here, and the mirror like 10 meters away, it looks amazing. But the zoom and the camera can't perform well, so you will not see it. But trust me. the back. You should be okay. <sighs> we could even like cheat and add some quick pump before the pump check. Like you feel like you're not enough pump. Here's the good light, you want to get some nice photo shoot. Just pump as like if you go on stage. And then, do you see the difference? Can you see it? I guess it's look really nice. Anyways, workers down. I couldn't film all the exercises I've done because with the light or with the people, it just didn't work. But here we are, you still got like, I talk later. I thought I'd talk to you later, but I didn't turn on the camera since a few days. So I did not respect you. Anyways, I'm here now. It's like four or five days, four days after the training. I was like, it's time to maybe close out the video by talking. So that was like the upper workout. It's kind of weird because I'm talking about it. It, it appears to be like so long ago, but so I will not talk that much actually, but I would really advise you to switch to upper body because when you think about it, don't spend like five, six, I would say five is fine, but like six, seven days at the gym. Like when you think about it, there is no other activity or sports you do when you spend so much time. People that swim, they might swim like two or three times a week. But I feel like in the gym, of course, like some swimmers or like basketball, soccer player, they return like almost every day, like, or at least almost, yeah, so six days a week. But it's because they're really like into it. But in the gym, I feel like there is much more people training as much as those passionate people but they're not that much passionate. It's just a thing to like, yeah, I go to the gym almost every day. Even if I'm not that much into the gym, compared to like in the other sport, people that do with that high frequency, they are really passionate. And so it makes more sense. But so there's remember that there is other stuff to do in your life. And in the gym, you really have like to focus your rest to prepare everything, make sure you have your meals down at the end of the day that you trained that you sleep eight hours, that your sleep is like on a regular schedule. So if you go like six, seven days a week, I feel like you might miss out a lot of stuff outside of the gym. It could be just social, it could just be traveling, listening, watching, learning, because gym is taking so much time. It's always like an hour, an hour and a half, the training, plus the warm up, plus the commute. 
and then you're just tired and you feel lazy to do other stuff because you're just completely dead. You just worked out hard. So that's what I really like, the fact that I dared, I really dared to switch to four times a week. And four times a week gives me a lot of time to do other stuff. And it helps like when I have like two days off, I go to the gym and I'm like, oh yeah, again, we go train. And it's not like all the day I go, but I was there already yesterday. So it kind of like grow like a hungriness for training and push me more to go and do my training because I'm not training that much. So when I train, it's more like qualitative and I have like, I want to train as well. It's not like I go to the gym six times a week and it was boring. I've been there Monday, Thursday, blah, blah. And now it's like Saturday and I'm again here. So I guess the four times a week is nice, just if you're natural as well. If you do another sport on the side, three, four times a week with a good program, the right volume, the right intensity. Outside, you make sure you eat enough carbs, enough fat, enough proteins, plus the micronutrients. Make sure you sleep correctly. You need to for your muscles. You need to to be to function well. Like just your brain, you need your brain, right? And for that, you need to sleep. So just even though you might not be a gym guy, you need to sleep correctly and enough. So do not cut your sleep for some reasons. Because I guess it's never worth to cut your sleep. And that is like hard, I guess, to really believe in it. But sleeping is so important when you think about it. So anyways, guys, I know how much you train or hard to train. But I would definitely recommend you to dare sometimes to do maybe less and see that less is more so doing less you get more results so less is more i guess works for the gym sport especially you nowadays when everyone's like doing too much sets too much junk volume just volume that's just accumulating fatigue but not really giving us gains so yeah today actually i will go for a pull day and that's gonna be the next video I will film my pull day. So now it's like 11.55. I get my lunch soon, soon. And later on, I go for the pull day. And I try to pick a topic to talk about as well for the pull day. Because this video was more or less like upper body. And what, why I feel like upper body is nice. For what I discussed. D discussing about also how much time you should spend at the gym. Regarding that gym is cool, but it's not everything. There is so much stuff to do in your life, to explore, to travel, to talk with people, to build relationships, to share with your family, friends. So the gym is not everything. You can love it, but you have to not be extreme. Unless you have like a big dream of becoming Mr. Olympia. But I guess 99% of people are going to the gym that trains like maybe five, six times a week. They could do less, but get more. And that's what's kind of my point by going into the upper body where you just do like in one workout, the whole upper body. And therefore you can train less, but still doing all the muscles twice a week, or almost all, regarding how much you manage your, your program. So that was my point. I hope that, I hope you liked it. And I wish you a good day, good night, good meal, a good life. Drop a like, I guess it's important. I know everyone's saying this and I was always like, the day I will maybe do videos, I will feel weird that I have to ask people to do that, to maybe subscribe and stuff. But then when you look at like all the big figures, they all do the same, they all ask because it's just like, oh, it works. If you ask people to subscribe, to drop a like, they would just be more, on average, of course, uh, scientifically proved you will get more likes and more subscribers. So just by asking one or two times during each videos, guys, if you liked it, put a like, subscribe. It does help. And I guess it shouldn't be like seeing as like forcing and pushing people, but more or less like reminding people, hey, you, you watched my video. If you like it, you can tell me. And a way to tell it to me is if you subscribe and drop a like and then it encouraged me to do more better and therefore you also win because you get 
this fact that you will get better video to watch from me, that you will enjoy even more. So it's kind of an investment for you because it, it will return to you the fact that you dropped a like to let me know that you liked the video. I guess you understood that, but that's another topic. Stop talking, it's time to work and then work out. So see you guys.